Hi friends, today's topic of discussion is starting system. We'll split the discussion into two parts, the construction and the working. Regarding the construction, it consists of battery, switch that is neutral safety switch and ignition switch, the solenoid and the cranking or the starter motor. The battery is connected to solenoid through neutral safety switch. Battery is also directly connected to the solenoid. Solenoid is connected to the starter or cranking motor. The starter motor receives current from the battery and converts into mechanical motion. The starter drive couples the armature with the flywheel during cranking and disengages armature with the flywheel as soon as the engine starts. The neutral safety switch prevents the starter motor cranking operation if the transmission is not in park or neutral position. This was regarding the construction or arrangement of starting system. Now we will see the working. When the ignition switch is on and a small amount of current passes to solenoid through neutral safety switch. Solenoid allows the high current to flow through the battery cables to the starting motor. The starter motor then cranks the engine. Hence the piston moves downwards and creates suction that draws air fuel mixture into the cylinder by creating spark by ignition system mixture is ignited if the compression in the engine is high enough and all this happens at the right time the engine will start please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching